everyone, so it's me again, Joanna. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to curl your hair with a flat iron. And obviously, you do know what is a flat iron, okay? So, uh, this is my flat iron. See that? It's a ceramic one. And I had this since high school. Never mind that. It's rubbish. <laughs> sorry, sorry. So, to, this is a flat iron. Yeah, I know I told you already. So, I'm gonna teach you how... Teach you! My tongue is... Teach you how to curl your hair with a flat iron. Now, the thing is, I have never used a heat protectant spray. I have never used a heat protectant spray all of my life. Now, my parents and I went to Hong Kong to have a vacation and you know because it was my graduation from college. while ago and it really works it protects your hair from you know using your heat uh, tools like a flat iron or your curling iron whatever you want to use and it will never damage the ends of your hair because back then I was so irresponsible I never used a heat protectant because I live in Beacon I never I can't find any heat protectant spray Okay. Then just please keep on watching and oh, another thing is um, if you want to add accessories to your hair, you can use a headband like this. I also bought this at Hong Kong and this only causes 5 Hong Kong dollars. Yes, 5 Hong Kong dollars. And I also have a headband that is called like a boho chick uh, headband like vintage I don't know like this and I got this at a shop here at the mall I just forgot the name so yeah you can add this to your hair to add like a you want to be like a chick or whatever so today I'm not gonna add accessories but because I'm gonna show you how to curl your hair so yeah just just keep on watching for the tutorial Let's take a hair comb with a big tooth like mine and then I'm gonna part my hair with equal sides and then go through my bangs or fringe. This is how I part my bangs because I do have a lot of layers. And then I'm gonna make sure and check that if I have tangles and that's it. Now I'm gonna part my hair in equal sides like that and then I'm gonna check if they are both equaled <laughs> I already said that and then I'm gonna check if my hair is not tangled because I do have a lot of tangles a lot of times we we'll take a hair clip and this is where the part we're gonna section the half of your hair together with the fringe or bangs because I do have a lot of layers so I just part them now until your hair is already sectioned and half I'm gonna take part of partly of my hair and take my heat tamer spray and spray all over the hair from the roots going down to the ends and this will really help protect my hair when I'm gonna be using the flat iron <laughs> I'll section the hair and part the hair at the back now I just want to go all over it with my fingers and want to make sure I just use again my heat tamer spray and go over it again. 
in order to protect my hair from damaging and then taking my heated uh, flat iron we're gonna have a direction going outwards my face but with a slanting position like that we're gonna start from this middle and going in a outward direction and going through and that will give you a result of a beachy wavy curl just like that Now repeat the same process that I just did on my other half part of my hair and just keep going until you have that curly wavy hair that you like. Now what I want to do is just I take my finger and like roll it in the outward direction. Now when you're at your bangs, you want to just go over it with your comb to check if they are tangled free because this is the part where you want to make your hair look natural, more natural looking. And then going it over with my flat iron, with the same procedure, just go with the direction outwards your face and then curling it down, going through and have that curly uh, wavy look. If there are like uh, parts that are not curly, then just go over it again. After curling my hair, I'm just gonna go through with my fingers through my hair to have that loose curls not tight because this is like more natural looking and I don't want to have that tight curls. I just want to have those loose natural curls. And now if you want to have volume, just get your finesse mousse and go over it through your hair. Now to keep your curls in place, just take your hairspray and spray all over the curls and onto the top of your hair. Now what I want to do is just I'm going to style my bangs to keep them in place because my bangs are really long. And after that, after the look that I want, there, you have it. Curl hair and you're finished.